Hello there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time here, my name is Achola and here on Achola's Closet, we talk fashion, personal style and how to look and feel your best at any budget. For today's video, I thought I would start a new fashion series and um, with this one, I kind of just want to go over the basics of, you know, fashion, discovering your personal style, and just understanding why you're buying certain things and why you should invest in certain things. And um, for today's video, I thought we will talk how to discover your personal style. Here are my tips to help you find or discover your personal style. So my tip number one is to know your body type. Do a little bit of a research to figure out whether you are, whether you have an athletic shape, you know, an apple shape, a pear shape, an inverted triangle, because once you know that, it saves you a lot of time and it saves you can buy things that actually work with your body and will look amazing on you. Now, tip number two is to find a fashion icon. Now, a fashion icon, it can be a celebrity or just a public figure that you really admire. You know, every time they step out, you love their outfit and you just want to wear everything they are wearing. My tip number three is to describe your style it can be you know boho it can be classic it can be edgy um, girly that becomes your personal style when you go shopping now and um, you're buying stuff make sure it is you know within your style description tip number four is to find a signature piece and now when it comes to signature piece a lot of us have signature pieces that we don't even you know realize um, for example one of my friends on Facebook he loves a suit and every time he will wear a suit if you look at every single picture he posts, he always has a scarf. For some women, it's just a bold red lipstick that is their signature. Every outfit, you know, is paired with a bold red lip. You absolutely want to find your signature piece. Now it can be a necklace, it can be a watch, it can be a leather jacket, you know what I mean? Tip number five is to define your color palette. Now, when it comes to color palette, of course, you can take this so many routes. Um, I know a couple of people who only buys black, like one of my coworkers only buys black. I also have another coworker that buys black, white, and gray, and that is it no more you know no bright colors nothing like that um, I think he recently bought red sneakers just for you know for the gym as that's the only place you're going to see him wearing those red sneakers nowhere else I was like okay I got it but um you know it's different for everybody some people they just like the neutral tones like white black you know gray with a little bit of uh, camel and things like that for me personally i cannot imagine living in only black i i would die um but no the african in me will just not even let me think about that i love prints we love bold colors bold prints you can't take that from us and um so yes my closet is definitely filled with prints colors that I absolutely love and you kind of just have to figure that out as well what speaks to you and stick with that tip number six is shapes and fits it all based on your body type now do you you know do you like midi length skirts do you like short skirts do you like tailored pants, straight leg pants, um, do you like striped, do you like floral, do you like just things like that and what kind of fits you like. Um, but with all of that as well, you want to think about fabrics. Um, now of course, every fabric hangs differently. You also want to take that into consideration. Some fabrics looks a little bit cheaper, others just looks a little bit more, you know, a little bit expensive. Tip number seven is shoes and accessories. Now of course, 
who doesn't love shoes, right? Now, whether you like sneakers or you like high heels, you like flats, we all love shoes. Now, the question is, do you like neutral color shoes or do you use your shoes as some statement piece or, you know, you already know, I like to add pop of color to every single outfit, whether it's, you know, with my shoes or handbag. I just love bold color shoes. I love printed shoes. Same thing for jewelry as well. One of the things I recently learned is that, you know, this fashion jewelries are not for me anymore because I realized they change color so quickly. Um, so now I've discovered, you know, gold plated or things like silver. I'm starting to buy more into gold plated because I find that the color, you know, stays a little bit longer and it doesn't, you know, doesn't stain your fingers, doesn't turn them green like the other ones. Uh, thank goodness. It might cost you a little bit more money, but I find that it's better than buying those cheap ones and then getting rid of them within weeks, honestly. Tip number eight is to take pictures of your outfits, especially when you put on an outfit and you feel amazing, you feel like a million bucks. Make sure you take a picture of that or just ask someone to snap a photo of you, you know? Now you can take that picture and add it into your celebrity folder so next time when you are, you know, just looking for inspiration, things like that, you can just go through those pictures and, you know, just figure out new ways to put your looks together. Now, last but not least, of course, you never want to forget about this, right? And now, personally, I'm not big on makeup and things like that, but you cannot look amazing with a messy hair and a messy face. It just doesn't look great. Of course, you wanna, you know, just, Make sure your face look amazing as well. Same thing with your hair. You want your hair all done up or you know, just nicely cut. You want to look put together from head to toe because that's what it is, honey. It's not just about from here down. It's from your head to the toe. So you want to make sure you're looking amazing. That is my nine tips on how to discover your personal style. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think by commenting down below. Also hit on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit on the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. With that, you have a great rest of the day and I will see you very soon. Bye.